What's going on YouTube? This is Coach Sam with Boxing Strength TV. And today I got a very interesting subject for you guys and we're gonna be talking about meditation. Now, as you can see from the title of this video, it says the one exercise that no one is doing that helps you blah, blah, something like that. I'm gonna name it something like that, okay? So, why, what, why, why is meditation so important? Why do I believe it takes you from a mediocre performer in your sport, in your field, into a master over time of course it's a journey why does it do that because you develop extreme focus extreme calmness you control your mind you control your body much more precisely through meditation meditation helps you reconnect back with who you are with your mind with how your body works with how your mind works it reconnects you to yourself and to the universe. Now that might sound like some hippie shit, but trust me, it's not. It's not. It's something that, it's simply reconnecting back with reality. Because this is fucking reality. You are who you are. Your mind is working. Everything is going, but you just don't realize it. You're just, it's in a, we're in a time where the attention spam is so fucking short that people have, you probably have it right now. You have 10 different tabs open and you have probably like, I have in my, in my, in my YouTube, I have like 374 videos that are on the watch later list. And every time I see an interesting video, yeah, I'm gonna I'm watch it, I'm gonna watch it. And I just keep adding because I want all this information and I want it so fast. And this is probably why kids are being prescribed methamphetamine, Adderall or whatever the fuck this shit is. It's fucking meth. It's meth, that's what it is. It's because People are not in tune with reality anymore. You know, you got people sitting on their phone. They're just passing time. They don't, they, and this is something, you should catch yourself doing this. You know, when you're, whether you're playing a video game, whether you're doing something, you, you lose, you lose track of time. You become extremely focused on that thing and you lose in touch with reality, kind of. This is through social media through video games, which is something that everyone is doing. So with meditation, you're doing the opposite of that. You're reconnecting with humanity, with yourself, with the universe. Now, like I said, this might sound like some hippie shit, but it does work. It does increase your focus. It improves your the control of yourself. You can control yourself better. Sometimes you feel emotional towards something, but through meditation, you can control this and you can become more positive through everything that you do, through any situation that comes at you. You feel like you have control because it's truly up to you how you react to things, how you do things. Everything is up to you. And meditation helps you have control of how you react to situations. Because now this might terrify people, but we don't really have that much control. You know, we think we have control. It's an illusion. You know, most most people don't have control. You know, your subconscious mind just processes things and everything is just habit. Everything is automatic. Every every day you do the same shit, most likely. And you, you like to think that you have control. You like to think that you're thinking, you're conscious. But these thoughts are coming from something, a deeper layer. Your subconscious and this bringing this shit out for you so you think you have control but you you don't now with meditation it helps you get in more in tune with who you are with your mind and now there's different types of meditations there's visual visualization there is uh, just uh, observing mindfulness there is just uh, focusing on your breath which is like the basic uh, where you just try to focus on just your breathing and if any thought that comes to your head You simply ignore that thought and you refocus back on your breath This is a great exercise for helping you focus now visualization is a great exercise for helping you Perform at a certain thing at a certain task Maybe you have like a performance and you just visualize how you're let's say you have a fight and I've done this I've done a video on this and you just focus on the outcome you focus on how you walked into the ring you focus you you get so much detail over time now the first time you do this you're not gonna have much details you're gonna have a really unclear image 
of what's gonna happen. But over time, as you continue your meditation, as you continue your visualizing, you're gonna get better at this, where you can literally visualize the smallest details and you just keep reliving this. Now, a great example of people, of successful fighters doing this are Deontay Wilder for boxing and Conor McGregor for MMA. These guys are known, they have a lot of videos on um, how they use meditation, how they use like uh, visualization more for uh, Conor McGregor to help them perform. Now, it might seem like some law of attraction or universal shit, but it's not really. I mean, do I believe in the law of attraction? Kind of in a way, but I don't believe that the universe gives you shit. I believe you're giving yourself shit because your mind is, you're thinking at a higher level and you're going to perform at a higher level. So that's why, that's what I think. And uh, meditation, now I'm not going to have a video as of now on how to do it. But I suggest you go online or you get a really good reputable book on how to meditate and different types of meditation. But I'm telling you guys, meditation will help increase whatever skill you have right now. Over time, it's a journey. Don't focus on the results like, I've, like I say, I've always said. Don't focus on the fucking result. Focus on the journey. Over time, you will see those results. You will see those results and they will be spectacular. You will love it. So meditation, something that everybody should be doing every single day. When you wake up, when you go to bed, you're meditating. Ten, at least 10 minutes. Start with 10 minutes and go up from there. But 10 minutes is all you need anyway. So 20 minutes a day and it will change your life. Anything that you do, you'll do it better. Thank you guys for watching.